Hi, uh, I have a patient here for ECG. In the beginning, we have to instruct the patient to, dress, uh, to undress up to the waist so that the chest will be explore, uh, exposed and he has to roll up the sack, uh, the socks or the pan we can, because we have to put the electrodes on the, on the thicker area, on the massy area of the legs. Now we are going to put the leads. So we have to kind of locate first the, the collarbone of the patient and then below the, we take four fingers below the collarbone and it's going to be a second intercostal space, right? That, that will be on that will be your V1 and the V2 will be just the V the location of the electrode on the V2 will be on the set on the right left hand side of the uh, second postal and the postal space. Now below the nipple, the easy way to find the position of the electrode, how to put it. Below the nipple we put the number four electrode. Between the two and four, you put you locate your third electrode, and uh, and then locate your axillary line, which is uh, which is uh, under mid axillary uh, line, which is under the armpit, and that's going to be number six lid. Between the four and six, you locate you locate now your number five electrode. At the same time, make sure that you put your electrodes on the hands, make sure the skin is clean or it's free from any cream or any powder. That is very important, otherwise the electrode will not st uh, stick to the skin. Similarly, on the legs, you have to find your, your left leg and right leg and you put your electrode. Once the electrodes are put in a position, ask the patient to lie in a standstill position. No uh, movement. It's very important to locate, to record an exact ECG uh, recording. Plus, you make sure that the patient is not carrying any piece of metal, like no chains, no earrings, nothing which should interfere in the ECG recording. And then press the button which says oh, start and it will start printing the ECG.